Today we're discussing five platinum trophies that cost my soul, meaning they took so much time and so much effort to do. The first game on the list is Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. I have 160 hours on this game. This is my favorite game of all time. 0.8% of players have the platinum, and there are some very tedious trophies like this one executed, complete all mission tasks, only 1% have this. Conservation, extract all wild animal species, only 1.2% of people have this one. And collector, obtain all blueprints and key items, only 1.1% of players have this one now if i'm being honest i don't remember what you have to do exactly for those trophies as you can see i got this platinum back in 2018 all i remember is it being super tedious i'd have to replay missions over and over for trophies but i did love the game so i didn't really mind it much i do recommend this game if you're looking to play like a longer road to platinum kind of thing and you don't want just one that's like a freebie give me type platinum i feel like it's very diverse in terms of like the gameplay and the ways that you can play it's it's, it's really fun at the number four spot is assassin's creed valhalla now i only have 63 percent of the trophies but clearly i have the platinum 214 hours played i haven't bothered to do the dlc and then you know what? i'm not even going to but 2.2 percent of players have earned this platinum trophy and i got this back in january this is my first platinum of the year and i actually made an entire video about the process if you want to see that if you haven't the most tedious trophy on this is completion is all the way it says complete all territories what this means is you have to get like every collectible in every territory this is what the map looks like and yeah most of those icons are collectibles you see these little dots around the map like the gold white bluish green ones those are also collectibles they're not hard to get but it just takes a very long time because going for this platinum was so draining for me i just haven't bothered to do with the dlc and i i don't want to because i kind of don't want to go back to the game after that the main story was like kind of repetitive if i'm being honest and i'm that's coming from me my assassin's creed is my favorite franchise i can't even speak right i just said favorite but overall i still did like the game i just like really was like drained after getting this platinum next up is super me boy most of you probably have saw my video for this but i have 262 hours on this game and this is the hardest platinum i've ever earned 0.3 percent of players have this platinum now someone in my chat on stream told me that it would be 0.1 but if you play the game on ps vita there's some sort of glitch to give yourself the platinum or like do something where you can get the plot i don't know what exactly it is but if you haven't seen this super me boy video that i dropped i personally think it's the best video that i put out it's so intense definitely go watch it because this is one of the hardest platinums in the world and the fact that i actually have this is like such a major accomplishment for me i did stream the no death runs which i'll tell you about right now starting here on wood boy if we scroll down we got squirrel boy needle boy blood clot boy salt boy missile boy brimstone boy demon boy maggot boy zombie boy girl boy and impossible boy these are all no death run trophies there are several worlds in Super Meat Boy, se several chapters, and there are dark and light versions of those worlds. The light version is the easy version, the dark world is the harder version, and so you have to complete the light and dark world versions, each without dying, for every single world, and there's like seven, except for like chapter six, I think you don't have to do. And the worlds get harder as you get further into the game. And so the Impossible Boy trophy, beat Cottonelli Dark World without dying, is like the hardest trophy in the game. And I was literally practicing for hours on end for this, off stream, even on stream, until I was finally able to pull off this major accomplishment. It took me 262 hours for a reason, because I just needed to practice for so long. At the number two spot, we got Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I have 681 hours on this game. Now you might say, sheesh, why is the jump so big from Super Meat Boy 260 hours to 681? I used to play Black Ops 3 with my friends back in the day for fun multiplayer, so a lot of these hours were not going for the Platinum. I do have all the DLCs done. I did this on stream already. Now, this Platinum is a 0.1%, and I got it this month in June when I'm recording this. I don't know how many hours it actually took me to get the Platinum because it's like mixed in with the hours that I used to play back in the day, but it definitely took me a long time. You have to complete the campaign on realistic difficulty, which like you're literally one shot. Now, the good thing is you can do it with a squad, which I did on stream, and I carried you all too. I don't want to hear nothing from none of you but you also have to get collectibles and this trophy right here personal decorator this is low-key a platinum trophy in and of itself all it says is earn all decorations now if you don't know what this means there are like so many tasks to do within the game i can't even begin to explain it just take my word when i say this gold trophy is the equivalent of platinum trophies on so many other games that's why only 0.1 percent have this trophy as well and at the number one spot we have gta 5 i have 871 hours on this game 81 percent of the trophies i may clean this up on stream this is the ps4 version i play the ps5 version now and there is a gta video coming soon so stay tuned for that but the reason i have so many hours on this game is because i used to play this casually as well with my friends now i got this several years ago back in 2015 the rarest trophy for here is solid gold baby earn any 70 gold medals on missions strangers and freaks i have to do this 
same thing on Red Dead Redemption 2 because I am going for that platinum on stream. So tune into the stream if you want to see that. In order to get gold medals, you have to complete requirements for the missions. Like sometimes you have to complete missions fast. Sometimes you have to have like perfect accuracy or like near perfect accuracy. Sometimes you have to get headshots. Sometimes you have to avoid taking damage with your vehicle. Sometimes you have to avoid taking damage to your own self. But things like that make it really hard. And then on top of that, the amount of collectibles in this game is probably more than any other game I've ever played. They have these things where you have to fly underneath like bridges with helicopters or planes. You have to jump off like 50 ramps with cars and land the jumps like perfectly. And on top of that, you got to reach level 100 in GTA Online, which wasn't a problem for me because I used to play this a lot anyways. But this is such a tedious platinum. It's another one where I don't know how long it actually took me to get because I used to play the game casually. So those hours where I was actually going for trophies and the hours that I just played the game, they're like intertwined. I don't know how much time I spent doing one or the other. Now, earlier I did say that I had a Super Meat Boy video that was really good. If you want to see how I got that platinum, you can press right here to watch.